Hamlin is just 24 years old and is leaving many of you asking, how did this happen to a physically fit football player? Christina, you spoke with a local cardiologist who says this is a rare occurrence. Well, yeah, Crystal, I had the chance to speak with the cardiologist at MCH's ProCare Odessa Heart Institute, who tells me DeMar Hamlin collapsing in last night's game the way that he did is something that only happens 20 to 30 times a year in the country. And while it may be such a rare occurrence, it is very common among young athletes. It's obviously shocking to see such an young person, you know, coming with a sudden collapse and it's not very common. In fact, Buffalo Bill safety Damar Hamlin's collapsing was possibly because of commodio cordis, a blunt force trauma injury to the heart, only seen 20 to 30 times annually in the U.S. and usually amongst young athletes. So what happens is when they get a sudden blow uh, from an object from outside, so the word commodio stands for Latin word you know, agitation. So if you get hit with a forced object, in the area of the heart to the precardium, and particularly at certain timing of the cardiac cycle, the heart goes into arrhythmia. So that's called ventricular fibrillation, where the heart stops beating and pumps, stops pumping, so the person collapses. Dr. Engrikula says the medical team on the field is stepping in immediately to help, potentially saved his life. But the key is to get the help, you know, in a, in a prompt way. And that's again emphasizes the importance of having AEDs available in these fields, you know, any kind of player uh, in the field so that they can get the prompt help. And with the survival rate being a little more than half, it's a good thing that Hamlin is in the state he's in right now. Because the survival rate, even as of now, is 58%. So you can imagine 40% of people die from this. So, and the catch is to get that help very spontaneously. I mean, very promptly. And if you don't get that within three minutes, you're actually facing somebody with a brain death. So they may be surviving, but they may not have a functional life. Now, even though we have no new updates on Hamlin's condition, this doctor says that his age is on his side and he seems to have relatively quick health. However, everything will still need to be monitored in the next few